Okay, so I've been wanting to do this video for a couple weeks, but I've been waiting for the choke to come in and kind of get things lined out, get somebody to film it. So Talon's behind the camera and Travis is here as well. But we're back out here to do not a pattern test for ammo, but we're gonna do a choke comparison. So if you watch the channel all, you know that I like the kicks full. Um, I was shooting the modified for two seasons ago, for that whole season, and then this last year I switched to full, and man, I loved it. I never tried anything else, but the kicks full. Because in my opinion, I patterned it. It's really not like a full. It's almost like an improved modified to me, it kind of seems like. So it was just a good combination. Good for 20 yards, good for 40 yards. I've been seeing videos of people shooting the Pattern Master Code Black um, and just the feathers that are coming off the bird. And that's kind of what I've been looking for when I shot a full. So I came out here with Harrison a while back in a couple videos ago, if you haven't seen it yet, and Harrison shot his. And you can just tell that the energy when it hit the paper target was way different than it was with my full, and there's a reason for that. So I'm gonna grab the uh, package for the Pattern Master Code Black Duck, and I'm gonna read it off to you guys real quick. This is what it says. Pattern Master created the Code Black line of tubes for the world's most serious hunters. The Code Black line of tubes incorporates the same wad control technology that helped rev revolutionize the shot show market. Okay, on the front, this is what it says. So I'm gonna be shooting my Browning A5, which is an Invector DS uh, style choke uh, for the threads and everything, okay? It's designed specifically for non-toxic ammo. It reduces shot, shot stream, hits target with up to 70% more energy. And that's what I was saying. You could totally, you'll see it too when we're shooting it. And if you go on their site, they don't say it on this package anywhere that I can see, but if you go on their site, they actually say that it is considered a full the pattern it puts out. So here it is. What You know what I do like about this? If it ends up being better for my gun, is the fact it is it's like half an inch shorter than my kicks as far as length sticking out again this is a choke comparison not an ammo i'm already going to be shooting heavy shot product so today i'm going to bring out the heavy 12 the heavy bismuth and the heavy metal and i'm going to shoot one of each of those at 20 and then 40 yards with this choke and then 20 and 40 yards with all three of those ammos with my kicks full i don't know what should we start with talon let's go pattern master pattern master all right pattern master it is We'll do 20 first and then we'll come back to 40. I guess we'll just go ahead and start with heavy metal first and work our way up. Stay tuned to the end and we'll just compare them all where you can actually see them. Cause you'll see them as I shoot them, but I'm gonna put them side by side for ammos and yardages. So let's go. Again, this is not a pattern test of specific ammo comparing them. It's a pattern test to compare chokes. So don't get all worked up when you see some are six shot and some one's four shot and one's one and a quarter load and one's one and three eighths okay don't get all don't get yourself all worked up about that this is the three ammos that i'm going to be shooting this duck season and these two heavy metal and heavy bismuth is what i shot last year i just want to see which choke does the best for all three of these type of loads so so we'll start with heavy metal we'll do heavy bismuth and heavy 12. all right first off heavy metal three inch one and a quarter ounce out of the Browning A5, and this will be uh, the Pattern Master. Twenty yards. Let's see what this looks like. He did. See, I didn't. I forgot to say this at the beginning, but I have shot a um, Pattern Master before. It wasn't the code black, and it did not do good on my Browning A5. I just, I don't know if that's something to do with the Invector DS or the barrels or what, but. That's 20 yards. I'm honestly, I'm not impressed. I mean, there's tons of flyers. And I know this is a small target. Again, it's not a pattern video. It's what it's gonna look like when I'm shooting at a duck at 20 yards. It's the heavy metal. We're gonna go ahead and do the heavy bismuth now. All right, that's the heavy heavy bismuth. It seems a little tighter, but I guess I, it was either me or the ammo. I don't know, but heavy, uh, heavy bismuth seemed like it was off to the right. It does seem a little bit tighter. Not so many flyers. Definitely not what was out of Harrison Stoger at all by any means. I mean, it was like a perfect, it definitely was meant for his gun. I can tell you that, but let's uh, go ahead and do heavy 12. Heavy 12. This is heavy 12. Now remember, I'm aiming at the same point every time and it's 20 yards. I mean, I know there's human error involved, but it shouldn't be like that because I shot the heavy 12 on my kicks and it was perfect over this. We're, you're gonna see anyways here in a second. I didn't even have coffee this morning, so I ain't shaking. 
<laughs> Let's go ahead and switch to the kicks choke and we'll do uh, the 20 yards with all three shots. Back to heavy metal again, 20 yards, kick, kicks, high flyer, full. Send it. Maybe I did drink my coffee. <laughs> I mean, it's still dead duck, but it is 20 yards. I mean, it's not that it's that bad, but um, there's a lot, there's some gaps. So that's the heavy metal, three inch, four shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the bismuth now and see. Heavy bismuth. I don't know what I'm doing. I know now I'm, cause I've just shot this uh, two weeks ago. Actually it was the 12, but I must be just aiming a little bit low. But I'm freehanding it because that's what I do in the marsh. I don't sit there and rest on a dill. Again, I'm just doing what's naturally to me, how I shoot. So that's the business. But we're gonna go ahead and shoot the heavy 12. Turn that out. All right, heavy 12. Hold on. Now that's nasty. See, that's what I that's what I had just shot last. So I don't know if it's just that ammo is a nasty combination with this fool. Cause I know I patterned good with the heavy bismuth, but that's, that's, that's really good looking. That's beautiful. Human error can have a lot involved, the choke, the gun and everything. So I don't know, maybe I just got lucky and put it down, but that's, that's how they was looking every time with the heavy 12. Now, mind you, this is six shot, but that bismuth I just shot last was six shot too. Anyways, obviously you're getting more pellets on target, so the four shots will be different, but this is the real test. Everybody, you know, everybody says, oh shoot, anything can shoot good at 20 yards. That is not true. I don't agree with that because I've shot enough different ammos. And as you've seen, some of those had really big holes in them just at 20 yards. So imagine what's gonna do at 40. So here's the true test. Now we're gonna start back over with the pattern master and go back to 40 yards, Let's see what happens. Put the old pattern master in. This is what this is where the rubber meets the road. And heavy metal, three inch four shot at 40 yards. Here we go. All right, there it is. That's the heavy metal. And this is four shot, so not as much BBs, right? I don't know. That's gonna kill a duck, but not maybe what I expected. But we'll see because we haven't done the it kicks yet. So now we're gonna go ahead, put a new target up, and go ahead and shoot the heavy bismuth. Shout out to Travis, the target man today. All right, heavy bismuth. Pattern master, 40. This is a little better just because it's six shot. That other one was four. I mean, it's not bad for four yards, nothing crazy. I guess you just, I mean, 40 yards, Every time I get out here and shoot at these at 40 yards, which this is obviously a little bit smaller than a mallard, a live mallard. But every time I get out here, I'm like, man, I don't think we ever really rarely shoot ducks at 40 yards. We like to say all oh, 40 yards, but like 40 yards is, is out there. So, I mean, that's definitely our far end reach of shooting ducks. So let's go ahead and try the heavy 12. Last one for the pattern master. And then at the end, we'll compare them. So stay tuned. How often do you really shoot a duck that far, Travis? Rarely. Rarely. Okay, heavy 12. That one actually looks pretty, I mean, from here it looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, that's really that good. That was a 12. So this definitely performed the best um, as far as um, heavy metal, heavy bismuth, or heavy 12. And actually, heavy bismuth is, has more, is a bigger load. It's one and three eighths. This is one and a quarter. So, anyways, let's try the kicks out now and see. Now I'm really curious where the first shot's gonna tell the tale. Heavy metal. I'm starting to forget what did what. I feel like this might have been better than the Pattern Master, but I'm not quite sure. But we'll compare again at the end, but that's what that looks like. That's something I gotta remember too is I still, even though we're seeing this, that Pattern Master has that shorter shot string, which is probably, is gonna create more um, knockdown. What is that, Tess? Heavy bismuth. I still can't get over how good this does in the field and what it looks like on paper. Like, and again, the reason it's quite making me question is, I rarely shoot, shoot birds at that distance, honestly. That would have a lot to do with the pattern too, right? If they're most of them at 30 yards or less, but still, anyways. 
not making any excuses. I'm just saying it's like kind of crazy the amount of BB pellets that it can take to hit it to really just fold those birds. Heavy 12, three inch six shot, one and a quarter ounce. All right, there's the last one. And now we're gonna compare them all. That's definitely by far, go figure, the most expensive <laughs> around is the best, but that's with my kicks. I mean, to me, if I remember right, that looks the best. We got some woodies flying around, buzzing around the back over there. But let's go, I'm gonna lay them all out and then we'll go take a look at all of them. So the top row is Pattern Master and the bottom row is Kicks. I wouldn't really say one's better than the other. You can count them if you want, maybe I'll pop it up on the screen if I feel like it, but that is the heavy metal four shot. So that's why there's not as many on there. That's another reason I like shooting like higher shot, like six shot or something like that. You get more, more on target, but again, Pattern Master on top, kicks on bottom. Let's go to the Heavy Bismuth, which Pattern Master definitely took that one, I think. And then lastly, the Heavy 12. I don't know. Man, that Pattern Master, I guess, did look. I was thinking the hip, the kicks was a little better, but that does look a little better more on target I don't know about the overall pattern which does matter just this is not a pattern video for ammo it's for the chokes so all right let's look at the 20 yards pattern master on top again this is the 20 yards so there's 20 it's nasty that's with the uh, heavy metal this is heavy metal with the kicks full And take your judgment from there comment down below what you guys think too don't feel free to give your opinions and what you think and this and that which one you think performed better okay on the next one this is heavy bismuth i definitely wasn't really stoked with this one that's kicks which again it was low that's pattern that's looks really good here's heavy 12 kicks did incredible but again, it might have just been where I was aiming. That is crazy. That's what that heavy 12. That's stupid. That might throw the bird back a little bit. Now, because I was off so much oh, on this one, I wanted to shoot one more. So I'm just going to show you guys. Anyways, that's what it did. But I seen where I was like, man, I was kind of consistently low, it seemed like, with the Powder Master. And it might be just because it's shooting darts. But I specifically on this next one, I reshot again just to see with the Powder Master Code Black duck um, at 20 yards with the heavy 12. And I went, I aimed at his head. That's what I got. That was specifically aimed at his head instead of kind of like where I usually do and kind of float it with this gun because it shoots skosh high. And usually that's what I do with the kicks when I pattern it on my aiming point, but that's nasty. Again, comment down below and let me, uh, let me know what you guys think. It's just fun to try this stuff out. I think I'm gonna keep it just because I'm, I'm kinda liking what I see. It's not an insane difference, but I feel like there's a few more pellets on target. I might count them later, but also I just wanna see what it does in the field because of that shorter shot string you can't tell that by shooting these so i think i'm gonna go ahead and keep it i was thinking about sending it back if i didn't like it but it's good enough to me that i want to see what it does in the field on ducks so big shout out to travis and talon for their help and hope you guys enjoy this video give it a thumbs up we'll see you on the next one